This is actually a, a very rare uh, Tennessee wall chart, uh, only one I've ever seen. There's not one in the uh, State Museum. Uh, it's called New Tennessee Wall Map by Rand McNally and Company. New edition. All right, new is 1909. Um, this has the, all the Tennessee railroads, uh, kind of a quick history of the state, counties, the towns, and population at the time, and the different um, uh, congressional divisions. But it is extremely uh, detailed and shows absolutely every railroad, which, which they were, that was near the height of the railroad expansion in, in the eastern United States. So you had uh, smaller railroads, uh, like the uh, one going to Tiptonville, and um, the, uh, well here's one that goes just, just to Lebanon. Um, so it is uh, a snapshot of the state of Tennessee and the railroads and towns and the layout of early in the 20th century, 1909. This is another of my uh, favorite wall maps. It's Mitchell's Reference and Distance Map of the United States uh, by S. Augustus Mitchell. This is done in 1847. And you see the uh, uh, patriotic American eagles sailing on a uh, clamshell and carrying the banner. Um, but below that is a map that was issued separately, very famous map, a uh, new map of Texas, Oregon, and California. Well, uh, 1847 was the first time when this was actually, uh, <clears throat> all of this was a part of the United States. Uh, Oregon here, however, goes all the way up into British Columbia to 5440. 54 degrees 40 minutes, which was a presidential slogan uh, about that time in the war, I mean, in, in history, because uh, that's where they wanted to put the line. Of course, the British wanted to, uh, us to get none of this. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, Upper or New California takes in everything over to Texas except for a sliver of New Mexico uh, along the Rio Grande. Um, so that is extremely interesting formative map. And this is the United States as we knew it before the Western, the Mexican War, uh, Texas uh, coming in in 1845, and the Oregon uh, accession. And this is amazingly detailed, but it still has uh, such things like the New York Indians who had been moved out here uh, to Wisconsin half a century before, and uh, various tribes, the Dakota or Sioux Indians, and then uh, the only things shown west of the Mississippi are uh, Missouri, Arkansas, and Louisiana. And then we have the tip of the really undeveloped Florida, uh, and all the way down to Key West in an inset. But it is uh, a map that would show every post office in the United States at the time. 